What's up everyone, back for another beer review. And today I will be reviewing a beer from the Bent Water Brewing Company and they are out of Lynn, Massachusetts. And this is their Atomic Relic. So they're calling this one an Imperial Coffee Stout. Comes in at 11.5% alcohol by volume. No IBUs less in time of review. I don't know exactly how old this can is, but it does have an enjoy by date of January 25th of 2024. We're almost a couple years away from that date, so we should be fine. And I want to give a huge thanks and shout out once again to a very good friend of mine and viewer of the channel, Stephen, for hooking me up with this one. So big thanks to him. In the description box, I'll post a link to the beer haul video I did that contains all the goodies he and others hooked me up with. And uh, yeah, I don't know much about Bent Water. Um, I don't know much about this beer in general, but they do have a little spiel here. I'll read a couple uh, sentences. It says, Atomic Relic is brewed in collaboration with Atomic Coffee Roasters. The slightly sweet Imperial Stout has a full dark flavor that is complemented by the addition of locally roasted cold brew coffee. So this is a Imperial Stout that they're using uh, local uh, roasted cold brew coffee. And those are that comes from the Atomic Coffee Roasters, which I'd imagine is local. So, you know, I said local. I'm a genius. Anyway, let's crack this one open. I'm in the mood for like a, a good imperial coffee style. Like I just, just feeling it right now. So we're gonna use the Bellwoods glass because I don't use this glass enough and I love it and give it a pour. 11.5% though, it did say on their website 10.5, on tap it's 11.5 and on the can, on the can it says 11.5. So we're gonna go with the can. I think the can's gonna be, you know, not gonna lie to us, hopefully. Anyway, port is slightly aggressive, but not that aggressive, has a, that's pitch black. Um, there's <laughs> nothing going on camera. It's definitely going to be pitch black, and it totally is in person. Has about a two and a half finger of a uh, brown, like mocha colored head. Uh, looks somewhat soap sudsy, somewhat creamy combination of the two, but yeah, it looks like a Imperial Coffee Stout. Let's get a nose. Yeah. Oh, so this is my assumption. You know what they say when you assume. Don't need to be said, but you know what they say. Anyway, um, this says January 25th of 2024. I'd imagine this was canned in January 25th or on January 25th of 2022. That would be my assumption. They give a two year Best Buy date. So I would assume this is just over four months old. That would be my assumption, uh, but my assumption could be wrong. The reason why I'm mentioning that is because the coffee is still super vibrant and they're giving two years. So I'd imagine the coffee will still be vibrant and not turn into that green pepper grossness that sometimes happens. Yeah, it has beautifully roasted coffee. There's really dark, like, baker's chocolate. There's a nice roasted character from uh, the actual malts. Yeah, coffee, dark baker's chocolate, roasted malt, maybe a little bit of, like, a caramel toffee thing. Molasses, dark fruits. There's, like, a touch of a black cherry. Maybe even a vanilla in there. It has like a nice bitterness too, like that you're gonna expect from an Imperial Coffee Stout. Like I can smell that. This is not gonna, they say, you know, it has, it's a nice sweet Imperial Stout, but I feel like the, the coffee's gonna balance it out and so will everything else. And I'm happy about that one because 11.5% could be too sweet. Yeah, it just smells like a really well-made, put together Imperial Coffee Stout, not much more. Let's get into it. Cheers to everybody. Thanks again, Steven. First thing that comes to mind, damn solid. Like this is good. This is a good Imperial Coffee style. It's it's extremely well balanced off of that first sip. Like I'm letting my palate kind of sit there for a second and like figure out what's going on. And I can say it's it's really well balanced. Let's go another sip and we'll talk about body mouthfeel. Body in this one, 11.5%, a bit thin. This is like higher side of medium. I'm not too disappointed, but I would like to see maybe a little bit bigger of a body. The mouthfeel, it's soft, it's smooth, has some creaminess, but there is enough carbonation to let you know that this is an Imperial Stout. So body a little bit thin, mouthfeel is fine. The taste, it's, I'll tell you what, this is one of the least complex 11 and a half or like just, we'll just say like 10 plus percent Imperial Coffee Stouts I've had in a long time. But that's not a bad thing. What it lacks in complexity makes up for in drinkability, balance, and just enjoyability. It's it's one of those beers that there's only a handful of things happening, but they're doing it extremely well. So right up front, hit with like sweet, 
more of a sweet kind of like dark chocolate. It's the first thing kind of hits my palate. Like a 50% cacao bar, like a sweeter dark chocolate, but not super sweet. Then right after that, I get roasted malt, a little bit of caramel, a little bit of toffee. There's underlying dark cherry kind of essence. And about two thirds or about a third of the way through the pound, not two thirds, a third of the way through the pound. That's where the coffee hits me. And it's a really nicely roasted, like I'd say like medium roasted kind of coffee or cold brew because, you know, they're talking, they're using cold brew. It's not overly roasty. It just has a really concentrated coffee character. Um, there's a slight acidic kind of bite to the beer in general. But that coffee character is really nice. So what happens is when that coffee is introduced, it's mixing in with those, those sweet malt characters. And then I'm even getting like a touch of vanilla. So it's making, it, it's, what's ended up happening in the taste is that it turns into like a mocha like beer. So you're getting chocolate, you're getting coffee. It's even like a touch of vanilla, like I said, in there. It finishes moderately bitter, semi-dry. It's not too sweet, not too bitter, not too dry. Like I said, extremely well balanced. 11.5%, I can tell this is a big beer. There's a little bit, a slight astringency on the palate. But I would say that this is more like a 10 and a half, 11% beer. So they hide the alcohol a little bit, but I still can tell this is a bigger beer. I'm gonna pour a little bit more in here just in case, you know, a lot of times goodies at the end of these beers kind of seep in. We'll just make sure we're getting most of it. And I don't, I don't think a beer like this though, Specifically, this is not like a, you know, pastry style where they're using all kinds of different adjuncts and shit's going to be all glopped at the bottom. It's really well put together beer. This is a beer, to me, if this was released in the mid-2010s, like 2015, 2016, I think people would be like, that's a fucking phenomenal Imperial Coffee style. Nowadays, so much bonkers shit happening, people are just like, oh, you know, that's, I could see them buying this and be like, oh, it's good. For me, it's really well put together. It's not amazing. Don't get me wrong, it's not amazing. But it's a super drinkable 11.5% ABV beer. Like, an Imperial Coffee Stout that has this kind of drinkability is kind of scary. That said, I can't go super high on this one. Just because, again, I, I'm, this is not something I love. I don't think it's amazing. But I'm really happy Stephen uh, gave me a can of this, and I got a chance to try it. Never heard of Bentwater. They're out of Lyndon, uh, Massachusetts. Have no idea where that is. I don't know anything about them. All I know is that this is Imperial Coffee Stout, locally sourced uh, cold brew coffee in here. And here we are. So uh, rating on the Bentwater Atomic Relic from Bentwater, obviously. I'm going to give that a high 4 out of 5. I'm going to go 4.1 out of 5. Really good. Not much more to say about it. I think that's a good score. I think that's an appropriate score, and I enjoy it. Uh, price and availability, I have no idea at all. Like, I say that, I'll be like, I have no idea, and then I'll start telling you what I know. All I know is Stephen gave this to me. He resides in Connecticut. Um, this brewery is out of Lynn, Massachusetts. That's all I know. So um, if anybody out there bought this, Stephen, uh, let me know what you paid for for a can. Does it come in four packs? What the case may be? And what kind of availability? Did they get in the bottle shops? Is it brewery only? What, what's the deal with these guys? Because um, this is the first beer I had from them, and I would say it's... It's pretty damn good, so not much more to say. Anyway, I appreciate everybody stopping by for another beer review here on the Beer Patrol. Hopefully you're enjoying an Imperial Coffee Stout of some sort. I feel like coffee stouts, Imperial Coffee Stouts, just coffee stouts in general, something that a lot of breweries don't do anymore, and if they do, there's a bunch of other adjuncts. So it's nice to see just, here's an Imperial Stout, cold brew coffee, done. So if you're drinking one, hopefully you're enjoying it. Appreciate everybody stopping by. To the next one. Oh yeah, thanks again to Steven. Cheers.